Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer, and today I'm going to show you how to create a desktop Gmail or browser shortcut. This is a viewer question. Thank you, Felipe, for the great question. Questions answered in today's video. Browser desktop shortcuts. What are they? How to use them? And how do you create them? And of course, why should you? Let's jump right in. So, what are they? It is this icon on my desktop that when I double click, launches a specific web page, which you will see is my Gmail inbox. What I'd like to illustrate is if you have an important email in your inbox or any web page that you want to create a direct link to, you can do so. And so this fake accountant, which is me, emailed myself for the purposes of this video asking uh, for my W-2s so I can file your 2023 taxes. Well, this is an important email. I don't want to forget about this. And this is probably not the perfect example, but it's illustrative uh, of how you can create a browser desktop shortcut and how it could be helpful to you. So here's how you create one. And by the way, or as a reminder, this Gmail, you can see it's open. And I am gra I'm grabbing... So it says view site information. This little circle right up here, I don't want to open anything else, <laughs> clicking near it, it's this circle up here. Uh, when I click on it, I'm going to left click and hold it, and then I'm going to drag and drop it here on my desktop. So here we go. Left click, hold, drag, drop. Now you'll see that there is a direct link or a desktop shortcut to this specific email in my Gmail on my desktop. There's one other way that we can create this, and that is by highlighting the URL or the web address. So right here, it's the Uniform Resource Locator, uh, or again, web address. And I've copied this with Control-C or Command-C if you're on a Mac. Now I've come to my desktop and I'm right-clicking uh, let's see, show more options. This is the new uh, Windows 11 menu. It's a little different. And now we're going to go to new and then shortcut. This dialog box comes up and the URL that we copied, we're now going to paste Windows, I'm sorry, Control V or Command V if you're on a Mac, and then next. This is certainly the long cut. <laughs> uh, type a name for the shortcut. And so I could type Gmail tax reminder exclamation point finish and so there it is on my desktop I'm gonna go ahead and delete it uh, because I only need one reminder on my desktop and as you saw I had this one over here so I'll delete that and so this right now in the middle of my desktop stands as a stark reminder that I need to send my W-2 to my accountant at the end of 2023 um, when I get my military and civilian employer W-2s. So there you go. That's how you use them, how you create them. Let's talk about why you would use them. Save an important website address, as you saw, or uh, the example I didn't give, maybe you're on a phone call with someone or a video call and they're sharing web addresses with you and you're just trying to not forget where you're at, all you got to do is reach up and grab this guy right here. And again, left click and drop it on your desktop and it's saved. So if you want to save an important web address, save time. Well, so that desktop icon, if that was just in my Gmail, I could click on that each morning when I start my, my work day. That could be a way. Uh, I prefer the browser toolbar shortcuts, but again, you do you. Uh, finally, create a reminder for yourself for something you need to do online. Of course, it doesn't make sense if it was to do it somewhere else in your house, um, but for an online task that you don't want to forget to do, but it only works with a clean desktop. As you saw with nothing on my desktop, this icon is staring at me in the face. Now, if this icon was hanging out amidst a sea of icons, not super helpful. Uh, so again, only works with a clean desktop. I hope you liked the video. If I've inspired you uh, to try this out, please let me know. Another thanks to Felipe. Uh, and please don't forget 
Link goodness in the description down below. Like, subscribe, and share if this video was helpful. Share it with somebody else that might need it or like it. Uh, as always, if you leave questions, I will leave answers. Now please go and be productive.